So it was almost, well, it's actually been more than three years ago. Um, I posted the video on April of 2017 of this uh, drill press stand. I have the bandsaw up here now because last weekend I thought I was going to get to it last weekend, but I didn't. So my son and I moved to the drill press to the workbench. Then I ended up needing to use the bandsaw for uh, one of my wife's projects. So it's sitting on here, but I'm finally going to get to putting the rollers on here. And I am going to, I took some of the comments about it being a little stability. You know, it does rock a little bit, but even with the drill press on there, I actually was trying to get a big piece of metal down off of my rack over here and I kind of hit it with my butt. And um, it did wobble a little bit, but it didn't fall over. So it's stable without it. Just because of the comments and some of the stuff, I am going to cut uh, cut it just a little bit longer to give it a little bit more of a base on the bottom. Okay, I'm going to need to cut me two pieces at 22 inches. And if you don't want to use metal, you could just uh, build this into your plan of the original design and um, use uh, a piece of tube before and just make it long and attach your casters directly to that. Um, I just don't want a big... That's why I like the plans of the drill press uh, stand because I don't want a big footprint for the table when all you have is that little base that needs it. And then you could just have the wider feet on the bottom. So that's why I'm going to do it this way. Yes, it took me quite a few years <laughs> to get to the feet, but hey, you know, priorities, right? Priorities. So I'm going to go with 22 inches and 44. Um, doesn't have to be perfect. It's just going to stick out the sides, right? hot out there okay so next this is gonna go basically on the front and the back and then I'm just gonna mount these casters up under here like that all right and then there we go And then of course I'm going to paint it my favorite color, just like the golf cart, good old Shrek green. So right here I'm just uh, measuring the distance between the caster and the bottom, and then I'm going to move it down about a half an inch to give me a little bit of a gap to roll around. Now I'm going to mark my center line for my holes, and that'll be where I'm going to drill for the two, two lag screws that'll go in here. going to use one of those step bits to make it a little bit bigger and repeat for the other side. Here I'm lining it up with the two height marks that I made. 
and the center line so that it's uh, at the correct height and gives me that little half inch clearance to roll around and then I'm just uh, put a screw in there and screwing down the lag bolts there to hold it secure and I'll do the other side the same way line the lines up and then put in the four lag bolts and it's ready to go go perfect little improvement on the cart you do that on the first time and then you'll have it nice and uh, stable and everything that everybody says um, like I said it didn't tip over beforehand but now it's definitely not gonna go anywhere um, and it rolls around real easy I can pull it out to use it or push it back in to store it um, you know I guess I got all that stuff up there maybe I'll do it sideways if it'll fit in there sideways better. Yeah, maybe I'll do it that way. And then I can just put the bandsaw over there when I get done with that thing. Anyway, as always, just keep improving and uh, just working things out in your head and you'll come up with an idea. Get outside and, and do it and you'll see it come together and then you'll have something accomplished. Thanks for watching and we'll catch you in the next video.